never commit to anything in America. You know, um, I've, I was watching the other night, I was watching the movie Heat with Robert De Niro, where basically he plays a bank robber. And I've always related to this character that Robert De Niro plays so much, even before I ever saw this movie. When I finally did see the movie, I, I just felt like I was watching like a, a 35 or 40 year old version of myself, honestly. He talks about in this movie, he plays a bank robber and he says like never commit to anything or never get attached to anything that you can't walk away from in 30 seconds. I think that's the quote. Um, sorry if I kind of messed it up. It might not be the exact quote. But basically, he's talking about how like never get attached to anything you can't walk away from too fast. And I feel like in America, that that quote holds true more than ever. Because as a man in America, you don't really own anything, number one. Number two, you can be ripped away from all your shit in a second. And it doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how expensive your possessions are. I feel like as a man in America, not only should we not commit to a, a wife or a relationship because we can get destroyed, but... Even as far as material possessions, like every now and then I have temptations to go out and buy a sports car. You know, I've had my eye on like a two-door Infiniti um, coupe. Like I think that's just a sexy-ass car, that new Infiniti, the two-door. Uh, what is it, QX50 or QX60? Or like, you know, guys say like, oh, should I buy a house? Or, you know, should I buy a boat? Or should I... And honestly, man, the way I see it, just save your money and live minimalistically and only buy shit that you're not afraid to walk away from in 30 seconds because you can have it all ripped away from you anyway. Pretend you have, pretend you, you've worked hard, right? And you're like, all right, I'm not going to do the marriage thing, but you know what? I'm going to buy a nice house and I'm going to buy a nice, I don't know, Escalade and a boat. And then like you hook up with a chick or you start dating some girl casually and she lies that you did something to her. And then like you get ripped away from all that shit and you're doing like 20 years in prison. Or like you have to sell all that shit to pay your lawyer's fees or something. It's like you can't even really you can't even really have peace of mind with your possessions. Like forget a marriage, forget a wife. It's like even if you want to just play the field and hook up or or whatever, it's like you can be ripped away from all your shit in the drop of a dime. So why commit to anything in America or any Western country for that fact when uh, when it can all be taken away from you? You've really got to have, like these days, you've got to have that like Robert De Niro bank robber mentality where it's like, yo, I've got to be ready to walk away from this shit in a minute if I think that something's about to go down. You know, it's like, that's why like no matter how much money I make, I'll always drive like a $5,000 car. I'll always buy my shoes at like Ross. I'll live in like a fucking one bedroom apartment that's like 600 bucks a month. But not because I, I can't afford anything better because it's like, dude, I might have to ditch all this shit in a minute. You know, I might have to just leave all this shit behind. Um, you know, because I might, I don't know, I might get caught up in some shit. I might get falsely accused of some shit. I might have to sell this shit to pay for lawyer's fees or something. It's like... You don't really own shit in this country. You're not even a free man in, in America. So um, so, so don't commit to anything you really can't walk away from. You know, don't, even if you've saved up a lot of money, keep that money safe because you might have to use it for an emergency. Don't, uh, don't just say, okay, well, now that I can't have the wife or the girlfriend, I'll just buy expensive shit and I'll enjoy that instead because you might have to walk away from that shit too. You really don't own anything. And I've seen rich, powerful men lose all their shit um, or, or have to, you, you know, sell off a lot of shit to pay for like court battles. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I apologize if you guys can't really relate to me on this one, but I've seen so many things that I can't even tell you guys. So I have, I don't know why, but I have this blessing and this, uh, my godfather was telling me about this, how you were meant to keep secrets that other people weren't meant to have. Like people trust you and you have the blessing uh, of having people tell you some of their deepest secrets because they, they trust that you will um, keep those secrets. So I've, 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 <laughs> I've, been, I've seen some things and I've been told some things that when you really know how shit works, you don't even want, you're not attached to anything anymore because you know how temporary it is. 
And you know how quickly you can lose your shit. And it's not even just a relationship. It's all your material shit. All of it can just be ripped away from you in a second. I mean, you really don't own shit. So there's no point in getting too attached to your belongings. You gotta be like Robert De Niro. You gotta be ready to walk away from all that shit. Because there may there very well may come a day where you are forced to walk away from all your shit. You know? Um So you know, there's so much I'm not saying that I wish I could say, but if, if you're smart enough, you can read between the lines and you'd know what you'd have to do when your day comes. Um, but that's really just the message of the story. Watch that movie Heat with Robert De Niro, by the way. I've, I'm surprised I haven't recommended that to you guys sooner. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. And just never commit to anything that you can't walk away from in 30 seconds, whether it's your car, whether it's the place you live, whether it's your, I don't know, anything you own, or anything you're thinking about buying that you think is going to sort of fill in the gap or complete you, uh, remember that you can be ripped away from all that shit too. So just never commit to anything in America. 